Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm out in the middle of the woods today. Uh, I got backpacked, I'll get the rain fly cover on it. Uh, I got a tarp set up to do today. It's raining, I'm getting wet, so I'm gonna get rid Okay, I got my tarp shelter set up. Uh, same thing as I did on my last video. Uh, as you can probably hear, tapping and whatnot on, on the shelter, it's uh, it's raining. So it rained all day yesterday. Now I mean it downpoured. We had thunder, we had lightning, off and on through the night. Uh, first thing this morning, it was thundering and lightning out. So I decided to come out camping today. Thought I was gonna you know clear off, but still be cloudy and whatnot. But nope, no chance. So I'm out here in the woods. Making the best of it, I guess. I'm already soaked. So, oh yeah, I'm just, my feet are wet, my hoodie's wet, my hat's wet. I didn't need my sunglasses, so, oh well. Oh, excuse me. But, I did bring some dry clothes. I had a pair of dry pants, dry shirt, dry hoodie, and a pair of dry socks. So, I'm all good for that. Uh, the ground is wet, so I'm sitting on my marting top rain fly. So, <laughs> just to keep my butt out. Well, I'm on the wet ground, but to keep my butt dry. Um, I do have, uh, let me see, I got my ground sheet in here. I have my Unigear uh, uh, air pad, sleep pad, whatever you want to call it. And I have a new product in here. I'm trying out for the first time. So far, you know, I've tried it at home, but so far I like it. So, uh, I'm not gonna set that up until, until a little bit later on. I just gotta gather firewood. If I can find anything that's halfway dry. I see birch bark hanging off a tree over there, just behind the camera. There is some dead standing. I uh, see a couple down there. It's probably all on eels. I got pork chops and I got some soup to cook. So uh, I'm gonna grab my trusty Boreal 21 and try and go find some dry firewood.
All right, guys, I got my firewood. Well, not a lot of firewood, but I got, I got a little bit. But I uh, got that all uh, <coughs> processed and split. I even cut a few more pieces down, smaller. I made a few feather sticks over on the other side over there. Uh, just been lazing around a little bit. You know, kind of lean up against my backpack, kind of stretch it a little bit, kind of, you know. But, uh... I had I haven't had a coffee for a little bit, so I think I might have one. Um, a little bit later on, I'm going to ha start my fire and uh, and whatnot. I'm not having a very big one, <clears throat> just enough to cook my pork chops on, and probably use my can. I still have to cook my can of soup that I have to go with it. Um, but yeah, I said I'm just going to make a coffee and whatnot right now, so. I got my canister stove, <laughs> but now I got everything set up, situated, kind of somewhat organized. So I'll uh, bring you guys back here in a few minutes. I get my coffee made and whatnot. Alright guys, I got my coffee, tastes pretty good, uh, the rain has finally stopped, but the ground is still wet, <laughs> so it hasn't dried the ground out at all any. Um, as you can see, I do, like I said before, I do have all my firewood prepped up, ready to go. I do have a little uh, lamp oil right here for my oil lantern, which is hanging in the tree. So I'm going to light that a little bit later on. That belonged to my late cousin, so I figured why not. Haven't used it for quite some time. So I might as well uh, bring it along with me and get some use out of it. The wind is has uh, picked up a little bit so um yeah so i'm gonna start my fire here probably another hour I got, I got two pork chops to cook up i do have a, my military grade frying pan or military aluminum food grade frying pan sorry so i'm going to use that probably <clears throat> my soup i'm going to probably going to use my a big pot over here, cook that up, and then probably cut up my pork chops and dunk them in that, or just eat them off, eat them off the here, eat them whole. So, other which way it should be interesting and should be good.
Jurassic Far going, kinda. <laughs> so, gonna let this thing get going here, and then uh, gonna try and cook my supper on it. It's hitting about six o'clock. I know it's still daylight. I'm gonna get to bed a little bit early tonight. I gotta really pick up tomorrow morning, so I got a few things I gotta do. Take my bike back to the shop and whatnot. Um, and you know, normal, normal everyday stuff, you know. So I'm gonna do all this, get stuff going, get stuff situated so I can start cooking, and then uh, I'll bring you guys back after that. Alright guys, uh, my pork chops are almost done. This is number two in here. It's a little smaller than the first one. But, uh, uh, let me see. Let me taste it. It's done. Go. Sorry. So for now, until I get my soup done, I'm gonna put them here in my, in my small pot. Just uh, kind of keep them warm and hot. But I do have a, a can of uh, cream of mushroom soup. I'm gonna heat up in my pot and then dump all these pieces in, or I'll just eat them one by one. Kind of just do like like bread and like bread and uh, tomato soup. Just dunk it in and. Same idea as milk and cookies. So I might do that, or like I said, I just might dump them all in, and away I go. But I like the milk and cookie idea. So I'm gonna set that over here for now. Set this right here. Take my pan or my plate. I'll pop this like so. I get this fire going again. Then uh, open my can of soup. With this uh, this old timer, I think somebody called it a church key can opener. I think it was Jack's Motlaw camper. That's what he said it was. It was a a church key can opener. I don't know. Well, if y'all know what the name of this is, or style anyway, let me know. This is, this is a can, a soft edge can piercer. Uh, Chicago, USA. Huh. Oh. Oh well, I'm gonna use it anyway. Very 
careful. Sharp edges. Yummy. <sighs> Dig in there with my spoon. <laughs> oh. Good stuff. Good stuff. Bring you guys back when I'm done. All right, guys, soup done. On. So that's plenty warm for me. So yeah, you know what? Back with it. I'm just gonna dump some in. Yeah. My handles out. Oh yeah. Get a bigger piece of here. Thank you. Alright. Missing old bugs or dirt grain and gets in my meat. Oh, that was so good. Pork chop coated in cream of mushroom soup. Mm. Tastes better done in the oven. Yeah. I make the same kind of thing at home. Well, Holly does after I showed her. She, uh, excuse me for a minute. Okay, she takes a casserole dish. You know, one of the either depends on how many people is eating. You take you use a small one, fit two, use a larger one, fit four, maybe six, depending on the size of pork chops. You wait, you know, bake them in the oven until about uh, about about five minutes before they're done. You take a can of cream and mushroom soup. Open it up and dump it over it and you kind of let it soak into it for a few minutes. Throw it back in the oven for another five minutes, maybe seven. When it's done, awesome. Almost like a little gravy type type soup, but it's really good. So I'm going to kick back, I'm going to eat this. I'll bring you guys back in a little bit. everybody it's like almost eight o'clock I've been just sitting here relaxing after I had my supper got the fire going again now I'm drinking coffee <laughs> I've got just enough fuel in my uh, canister for tomorrow morning I used a lot more today than what I thought I did and yesterday so I was out camping yesterday too I just you know took one for me kind of thing you know Kind of sit back, relax, no filming, no nothing. 
So it rained like a son of a gun yesterday, so I had no choice but to use my canister stove yesterday. But right now I'm just kind of kicking back. It's almost time I, to uh, get my bedding situated. So the way it's looking right now, my head's going to be up there just a little tiny bit. My feet are going to be right about here roughly. There's a big rock right here. I don't know how that's going to work, but I just might switch it around. Put my head down here and my feet down here at this end. I don't know. So I kind of want my feet uh, under more cover. But I'll see how it works out. Um, I have, like I said earlier, I got my Unigear sleep pad. Uh, if you'd like to see a review on this here, let me know. I like it. It's a really good sleep pad. Regular wide, so. It's a Camphy P3 air sleeping pad. Hey, it works. Best part is, you don't have to breathe into it. This here stuff sack is your uh, fill bag. It's actually a pump sack, so. Yeah, I know. that's pretty cool. So. But I do have another piece of gear right here. I used it last night and I was warm. I was toasty warm. So, I'll let you guys in on that. Trying that out. Use it a few more times and I'll do a nice little review on that. But as it is right now, I'm just gonna kick around here a little bit. Clean up a little bit more of my mess here. <laughs> At least I know where everything is. So, I got a coffee here, fire going there. My ground sheet right there. Everything else is either right there or right here. So. Oh, and my oil lantern's hanging in the tree for, uh, for right now. So. Oil So I bring you guys up to speed so alrighty we'll catch you in a little bit Alright guys, I got my uh, little lantern all lit up and fired up. So you know what, if my cousin was out here, he'd have a, he would have had it going aboard an hour ago maybe. Or, no, nah, he'd probably have it going right about now. Coming on dusk, you know, eh, whatever, but figure you know why not. His time now. Let him shine. But, as it is, I'm going to finish my coffee, stir that fire up a little bit. I got it. three more rounds, and I mean they're solid hardwood rounds. Like, they're just solid. Just 
and they're dry as a bone. So, I got one here, looks like a, I don't know. <laughs> Take it as you will, but big knot hole. So, but yeah. So I'm going to sit here, chill out, finish my coffee, stir the fire up a little bit, and then probably get my sleep set up going here. Because it's coming on dark, and it's coming on dark pretty quick. It's like hitting about 8.30ish, so. Uh, when I get everything set up and I'm ready to go to bed, or whatever, I'll bring you guys back. It's going to say it's going to chill out here, so. Stare at this fire. So. Alrighty, catch you guys in a bit. All right, guys, <laughs> got my sleep pad all set up. I've just been kind of kicking back on it for a little bit. Uh, the fire going again. <laughs> it's almost went out on me there before, so I got to blaze it again. I got my oil lantern going. So I'm going to, you know, kick back a little bit longer. It's almost, well, got maybe a half hour of natural daylight left. Sun's already gone down. <laughs> I just have to grab my top coat out of my backpack, which I'm going to do here shortly. I had to change my socks, I had to change my t-shirt, my hoodie, you know, something dry and warm. So, well, <laughs> drier anyway. So, I say I'm just going to kick back, relax, and I'm going to bed here soon. So, I got my headlamp and my flashlight right, right here. So... I'm going to grab my knife out of my backpack, set that right here beside me, because uh, you never know what kind of nasty critters will come out through through the night. So, but I'm going to say goodnight to you guys, and I will see you in the morning for coffee. Morning, everybody. Uh, good night's sleep. <laughs> nice and bright, birds chirping. <sighs> I need coffee. <laughs> so, want to have a coffee? Um,. And probably do a little quick pack up because I overslept a little bit this morning. It's like just after 8, 8 o'clock, so. But I'm gonna get stuff situated, get my coffee going. I'll bring you back. <laughs> All right, guys, I got my coffee. Ugh. I let it set for a couple minutes. <laughs> it's too hot. Put some cold water in it, but... It's good coffee. So, I'm only probably going to have the one this morning. Uh, I'm just going to do a really quick pack-up. Jam everything in the bag and go. Could have almost everything in the bag now anyways, except for my sleep pad, my ground sheet, my tarp, obviously. And what few little items I have right here, but other than that, everything's all just cram in the bag and go. <coughs> so, uh, the lake right across over there, it is really, really still. I mean, it's almost like a sheet of glass out there this morning. It's really nice. So... 
I woke up, birds are chirping, sun was shining, lake was still. I heard a couple owls last night, but and I lay here and watched the fire till oh geez, I don't know, about 10:30. That's the last time I can remember. <laughs> I looked at my phone. I was like, oh, 10:30, cool. I I get up and I turned my uh, my old lantern off, snuffed that out, uh, tossed my last piece of wood on the fire. That's almost gone. <laughs> Fire's completely out though, but um, no. Overall, I had a really good night. Ah, so it was fun. Despite the rain that happened yesterday morning, but kind of put a damper on things. <laughs> no pun intended, but eh, push through it. Sun start, sun come out, stop raining, everything cleared off, but everything was still soaking wet. But eh, you know, you make do with what you got, right? So I made do. I had fun. That's the main thing, right? Having fun. I'm gonna finish my coffee, pack up, and I'll bring you guys back. Alright guys, I'm all packed up, got everything all cleaned up, pieces of birch bark, but that's just, meh. <coughs> My fire pit's totally out, I dumped a little bit of water on it, whatever I had left. Um, 
some of my gear is still a little wet from yesterday and last night so I'm gonna have to hang that up when I get home <laughs> so but I got my lamp I got everything is all packed in this in, in my backpack so like I say I'm all packed up I'm ready to go so I'd like to thank you guys for watching my my uh, my continued subscribers thanks for watching and all you non-subscribers, thanks for watching. Hope you hope everybody enjoyed it. So until the next one, I will catch you guys later.